uh, we're just going to, we're just going to start off reading the first chapter. Wait. Uh. Uh. Mm. We just we just had to get ready. All right. Uh, hello, guys. When is the first chapter? When does it stop? You, I sent you the. It. Oh, it's all this. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, author's notes. I'm, I'm such a lazy bastard. I don't feel like updating any stories. I have homework to do. I don't want to do it, so I'm writing this fiction instead. I'm screwed. That's oh, oops. I don't. Anywho, you hey, have homework to do. That you hey, don't do? uh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. All right. Anywho, this is better off alone by Perfect Pink Water. Since uh, King Gamer isn't here with with us to record tales of Fantasia Gadgubs, this is the best option. Vivi uh, chapter one: Abuse. Vivian sat, huddled into a corner of the damp regions of Roadport East Side. A bleeding scar on the side of her shadowed face. She raised a glove and wiped the blood. Wipe. Mm. She raised a glove and wiped. Wiped. She raised a gloved hand and wiped the drops of blood on from her left cheek. S only for it soon to be re replaced by a tear, a tear that stung her face and trickling over her wounds. Would the pain never stop? Cradling her injury, Vivian, ro Vivian rose from her secluded punishment. Her head hanging low in shame, reluctantly she made her way over. <clears throat> reluctantly she made her way over to her older sisters, Belladam and Marilyn. She longed for the symp sympathy. Is it Belladam? Scroll down. Belladam. Bellad Belladam. There's no Belladam. It's Bella Bell. Alright. Uh, Beldam and 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 Mar Maryland. She longed for their sympathy, their love, their care, but it wouldn't come. It never would. She was foolish to she she was foolish to think otherwise. Beldam, Bel Beldam stood stood with her arms crossed, but dominant, but over, but over her dom but dominant over her younger siblings. She never showed either of them any compassion, and only expected perfect, and only expected profession. Perfection. Anything less would would result in an awful punishment unfit for anyone, even the lowest, even the lowest criminal on the face of the earth. Death would be considered a good thing when it came to her punishments. All right. Uh. Uh. I'm going to voice Vivian. You voice the other two, Aaron. Okay. Okay. Uh. This is. Give her. Give. Give her a smoker voice. Uh. Uh. No, you're voicing Belladom and Mer and Mer. Oh. I thought you said I thought you said you were I said I was voicing Vivian. Oh. Wow Vivian <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Fuck okay. I'm trying to think of a voice. Well Vivian, have you learned your lesson yet? Beldam Grow. Beldam. Oh damn. His voice was breathless and frail, exhausted from t the days. From the day's cruel trials. Yes, sis. Beldam motioned. Beldam. Beldam, Beldam motioned for Vivian to stop down her. Stoop. Stoop down her level. Stoop. Vivian obeyed, but her only reward was a hard slap across her already bruised face. You owe. <laughs> you will address me by name, not relations. Vivian felt felt like dropping dead shit. right there. Why was Belladam so mean? Belladam so mean to her. She was tired of hurting, su tired of suffering, tired of it all. She wanted to stop. She wanted it to stop. She needed it to stop. Well, Belladam com Beldam commanded. Yes, yes. Vivian couldn't finish her sentence. She choked on her words and collapsed to the ground on in a heap. Crying her, crying her blood-stained hands. Silence! Okay. Beldam commanded, grabbing a rusty iron beam near some dirty trash can. She beat Vivian with it several times with each hit. Bel Vivian cried and begged for her to stop, but Beldam ignored her cries and continued on with the violent slaughter. Marilyn stood off to the side, watching Marilyn. Beldam with Vivian, watching Beldam with How do you spell that? Bell, uh, 
B E L D A M. Beldum? Beldum? Alright, Bel watching Beldum with Vivian. She was the middle sister. Sort of an oddball compared to Beldum and Vivian. Some labeled Marilyn as either the strong, silent type or a complete idiot, unable to give anyone information or an opinion or an opinion or an opinion. On the other hand, Marilyn was actually very smart. She just lacked decent she just lacked a decent vocabulary. That's all. Satisfied with Vivian's pleas for mercy. Bel Beldum, Beldum held, held, held the iron bar firmly in her grasp. It was now Vivian, it was now dripping, uh, it was now dripping with Vivian's blood and, and slightly bent from its usage. Slowly raising, slowly ri rising to stand, Vivian pa panted in pain and anger at the same time. Her side ached with, and throbbed with, with each exhale of her lungs. So sore for screams and agony for her most recent punishment. Clutching her cl clutching her side with one hand, she held the other, pull, putting putting her putting her hat down to further cover her face. She did not want to show Beldum how scared she was or how weak she seemed. Beldum dropped dropped the iron pole onto the cold, hard pavement with a loud clang. Yeah, like that. Traces of Vivian's blood seeped onto the dented rod into the uneven concrete. Vivian watched uneasily as uneasily watched as it slowly spread over to the ground. She soon felt a warm substance under her hand as well, removing her glove from her side. She saw more blood spill out. It wasn't a trickle anymore. Now it was actually flowing. Without another word to Vivian, Bel Beldum move it mo motioned for Marilyn to follow her. Marilyn slowly nodded, and the two two disappeared into the and the two disappeared into the shadows, leaving Vivian to lean against an empty against an empty house in pain, letting letting a shaky breath breath escape her bloody lips. She slowly sank to the ground, grasping her wounds tightly. She lowered her face for a second. Then look, looked up and noticed that Belladam and Marilyn had her sisters gone. Had her sisters gone. A sigh of relief, a sigh of relief, escaped her tender body. This would this would be away for for three hours at most. The day was almost over and the sun had already begun to send the distance, painting with a soft painting the guy with soft samples of Ofred and Orange. Vivian took a glance to make sure that nobody was nearby. Then she slowly removed her hat, something that she, she was sworn never to do. Her eyes colored in a piercing red hue, but were tainted with innocence and naivety. Her eyes resembled that of a young child, barely, barely able to comprehend what was going around in the world. At, long, at last, she could finally rest, but Belladam, Bel, Bel, Beldum's means of punishment had become- And then sex scene, the end. <laughs> and then, and, and then had, had become more increasingly brutal since she accused Vivian of losing this picture of Mario Merloni, character they were looking for. After losing him in Bogley Woods, the chances of Mar of running into Mario again were pretty slim. Could you use- uh -oh. uh, you, using the shoddy house as a support, Vivian rose from her sitting position and made her way back to the inn. Back, back to the inn in the middle of middle of Rogueport. Even though they had, even though they had left her, left her without knowing, Vivian knew Belladam, Beldum and Marilyn were probably back at back in Twilight Town. It was their favorite place to relax because of the dim darkness and shady complex, complexion, complexion, complexion. Uh, yeah, I think it's complexions. It didn't matter where they were as long as long as she wasn't with them. Arriving, arriving at the inn, Vivian was hesitant to come. Was hesitant at even coming in the door. There weren't that many people around, but it seemed all rough. So all so rough looking. The few the few people that were actually at the bar were very noisy. So Vivian chose to sneak in unnoticed. 
getting upstairs, Vivian now decided it was a good time to put her hat back on. So she did. Fortunately, there are only two toads around, an old male and a young female, and two very relaxing looking beds. Going over to the female toad, who was busy at putting up the blankets, she decided she see she decided to see if she could spend the night. Sure. Wait, uh, 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 oh wait, no, Aaron, you voiced the to you voiced the innkeeper. What's going on? Uh, Aaron, uh, you voiced the innkeeper. The it sure. The innkeeper. Yeah, the sure. For okay, sure. It'll be five coins a night. Want to stay? The innkeeper said. Vivian was silent for a moment, then whispered. <laughs> One. Alright. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I All I heard was I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't have any money. Did you finish the line? Yes, I finished my line. Oh, it cut off because of the noise suppression, but... No money? Oh, well, that's going to be a problem, the innkeeper stating, putting away the last of the extra blankets, turning to face Vivian. She saw the <laughs> she saw she scars <laughs> and blood stains on her. Look, it says she saw she scars. Uh, yeah, I know. And oh, 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 dear. Vivian. <laughs> this is your line. All right, Vivian perched up, quickly perked up and sli at the, uh, slightly startled at the innkeeper's sudden outburst. What? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll leave if you want me to. Oh, no, no! Poor thing, you look awful. She grabbed a blanket and tossed it over Vivian's back. You could stay for free until you get better. I insist. Going over to the bed, oh. Vivian... Going over, to the, going over to the bed, Vivian made herself comfortable between the freshly washed covers. She couldn't remember the last time she had slept with a blanket. The innkeeper soon came in with a deli altar and placed on Vivian's nightstand. Here you go, and don't worry about anything, okay? I'll take care of the bill until you're better. Snuggling into the bed, Vivian only nodded. Uh, just as the moon was about, just as the moon was being to rise, sleep soon to overtook her, and she was at peace. As much as she didn't want to admit it, she was always better off alone. The end. Ow! Author's notes. Authoress's notes. Blech. This turned out to be far more depressing than I hoped for. Oops. I, okay, okay. I didn't really think Phila Don't worry, I'll let a sex scene. <laughs> would go that far, but it's likely. I, might I don't know how to make the mood better. I might. What is it, Aaron? Scene. Come on. Who? Bye. I might redub some of this if it, if some of my audio isn't good.